Welcome to Changgyeonggung Palace on this beautiful spring day. My name is Susanna Oh, and I am a certified palace tour guide. The K Royal Culture Festival is the largest cultural heritage festival in Korea, held every May and October. It is hosted by the Royal Palaces and Tombs Center of the Cultural Heritage Administration and organized by the Korea Cultural Heritage Foundation. The festival takes place at various cultural heritage sites in Korea, including the five royal palaces, Jongmyo Shrine, and Sajikdan Altar. Throughout the festival, you can enjoy a variety of cultural and artistic programs, such as performances, exhibitions, hands-on experiences, and rituals that are inspired by the rich history and location of each site. We hope you have a wonderful time wherever you visit during the festival. The 2023 K Royal Culture Festival Meet Royal Palaces Today offers an opportunity to experience the Royal Palaces of Korea in a deeper and more meaningful way. From now on, imagine you are visiting Changgyeonggung Palace in the year 1743. However, before we take you back in time to 1743, please be aware that eating and drinking are not permitted inside the palace, and smoking is strictly prohibited on the grounds also. Additionally, all items inside the palace belong to the king, so please refrain from collecting fruit from fruit trees or acorns. And if you happen to come across an acorn, please pretend not to notice it. As we speak, it is 1743, and the inhabitants of Changgyeonggung Palace are hard at work. Please be mindful that the people of 1743 may be surprised to see something modern. And if you happen to come across a royal procession, please be respectful and courteous. Are you all ready for a journey back in time? Let's cross the Okcheonkyo Bridge and step back to the year 1743, the 19th year of the reign of King Yongjo. It is 1743 and the year of King Yongjo's Osun Olyonne, a celebration of the king's 50th birthday. King Yongjo lived to be 83 years old. This was significant as not many kings in the Joseon dynasty, which lasted from 1392 to 1910, lived past the age of 50. So, in 1743, King Yongjo, the 21st king of Joseon, celebrated his 50th birthday with a magnificent Osun Oyeonle ceremony. When the new year dawned in 1743, King Yongjo's ministers proposed to plan a Jinyong, or court banquet, to celebrate this milestone birthday. However, because the nation was suffering from famine and due to his filial piety toward his adoptive mother, one of the previous king's consorts, King Yongjo initially declined the proposal. Finally, as a result of the persistent pleas of his subjects and the urging of the consort, now Grand Queen Dowager, King Yongjo eventually agreed to the banquet, but he reduced the size of the celebration, and the event was termed an Oyeon, or simply a banquet given by kings. In addition to the banquet, King Yongjo freed prisoners with minor offenses, gifted alcohol and food to the elderly throughout the country, and waived one year's payment of the oldest interest charges on grain loans given to the people. Thus, the king shared his joy with the people in many ways, despite the challenges faced during that time. 
King Yongzhou, who reigned for 52 years, introduced various policies that contributed to the cultural and economic development of Chosun. The name Korea was known by in those days. These policies included the Gyun Yokbop, an equalized tax law, the Tang Pyeong Chek, which ensured the balance appointment of officials from all political parties, as well as the revival of Shin Mun Ko, a drum beaten by the people to publicize their complaints of unfair treatment. To mark the 2023 K Royal Culture Festival, Changgyeonggung Palace will host a five day trip back in time from May 2nd to 6th under the title of Traveling Back in Time. King Yongjo opens the Honghua Mun Gate. Visitors to Changgyeonggung Palace during this period will have the unique experience of following King Yongjo's footsteps as they travel back in time to the Joseon Dynasty. Now, let me introduce you to the beautiful structures that highlight Changgyeonggung Palace. Changgyeonggung Palace is a spacious palace known for its well developed living areas. The main hall, Myeongjong Chun Hall, along with Myeongjong Mun Gate and Honghua Mun Gate, all face the east, which is a distinguishing characteristic of this palace. In the past, Changdokgung Palace and Changgyeonggung Palace were not separate palaces and were collectively known as Tonggol, or Eastern Palace, as they were both located to the east of the primary Joseon Dynasty Palace, Gyeongbokgung Palace. A painting entitled Tonggol Do provides a panoramic view of the entire Eastern Palace as it existed during the Joseon Dynasty. While the painting depicts the numerous structures that existed in Changgyeonggung Palace in the past, unfortunately, most of them have been destroyed, leaving little trace of their existence. To gain better understanding of what the scale and scope of Changgyeonggung Palace was, take a look at the reproduction of a Donggol painting, which includes the palace. This impressive work is displayed in the colonnades located immediately after you cross Okchon Gyo Bridge. Honghua Mun Gate is the main entrance to Changgyeonggung Palace. It holds significant historical importance as it was the place where King Yongjo actually met with the people in person. In 1750, King Yongjo visited Honghua Mun Gate to listen to the opinions of the people regarding the taxation system. As a result, he implemented the Kyun Yokbop, a more equalized taxation system. Additionally, King Yongjo distributed rice to the poor from this gate, and his successor, King Chongjo, also continued this tradition of distributing rice to the people. Therefore, Honghua Mun Gate is a place that symbolically reflects the compassion of the Joseon kings. The present day Honghua Mun Gate, which was burnt down during the Japanese invasion of Joseon in 1592, was reconstructed in 1616 during the reign of Kwang Hae Gun. Okchon Gyo Bridge is the first site that greets visitors when they enter. Changgyeonggung Palace through Honghua Mun Gate. In the Joseon Dynasty, each palace entrance had a Kumcheon stream near it, and a Kumcheon Kyo bridge was built to cross over it. Today, Changgyeonggung Palace is the only palace with a naturally flowing Kumcheon stream. The Kumcheon stream marks the boundary between the inside and outside of the palace. As ministers crossed the bridge, they symbolically washed away their personal and private thoughts and feelings with the flowing water. The bridge also served as a reminder to approach politics with a pure and clear mind. Kumcheon Stream in Changgyeonggung Palace 
was named Oktun because its water flowed pure like jade, which is pronounced Ok in Korean. Oktun Kyo Bridge was constructed by King Songjong in 1484 and has remained in place for over 500 years. Myeongjeon Jeon Hall is the oldest surviving palace building built during the Joseon Dynasty and serves as the main hall of Changgyeonggung Palace. Significant events held here include King Yongjo's 50th birthday celebration, held on September 16, 1743. Although King Yongjo originally ordered the celebration to be held in the more modest Yongwa Dang Hall, it was ultimately held in the larger Myeongjeongjeon Hall. In fact, this hall was the preferred venue for official state events such as court banquets. And in 1759, it was also the site of the marriage ceremony of King Yongjo to his second wife, Queen Jongsun. Moon Jongjeon Hall served as the principal executive office of the kings when they resided in Changgyeonggung Palace. Here, the king discussed politics with his ministers and conducted state affairs. However, during the reign of King Yongjo, the hall was used as a Honjeon Hall in which the ancestral tablets of deceased kings or queens were enshrined for three years. After the death of Queen Jongsong, King Yongjo's first wife, the hall housed her ancestral tablet until it was moved to Chongmyo Shrine. This hall is also significant for being the site of a tragic event in Korean history. In 1762, Crown Prince Sado was imprisoned in a wooden rice chest and passed away in the forecourt of the hall. Crown Prince Sado died as a result of fierce conflict between him and his father and ultimately due to his unpredictable behavior, including murder. King Yongjo used Sung Mundang Hall as his office, while Mun Jeongjeon Hall was used as a memorial hall for Queen Jongsong. The king met with scholars from the Confucian Songgyungguan Academy and conducted state affairs with his ministers here. There is a signboard with the calligraphy of King Yongjo that reads Ilgam Jeja, a phrase taken from the Book of Odes. This phrase means that the heavens are always watching, so one should not lose their sense of honor. This phrase inspired King Yongjo to maintain his focus and avoid distractions. The Sung Moon Dang Hall signboard also features the calligraphy of King Yongjo, showing his love for learning and his enjoyment of Kyongyun, which included discussions between the king and his ministers on the Confucian classics and how they related to state affairs. Ham Injong Pavilion, originally built as a pavilion in Changgyeonggung Palace, was used by King Yongjo for various purposes. One such use was to interview and test the officials who had passed the Kwago examinations, which were state examinations used for selecting future government ministers. Additionally, it was a place where King Yongjo would listen to the reports of officials from the Pyeongshi Saw office. This office was in charge of inspecting scales and measuring sticks, as well as the price of goods at stores in Seoul's marketplaces. The king also met with commoners here in order to better understand their lives. Furthermore, the courtyard of Ham Injong Pavilion was the location of the Kigokje, a ritual to pray for a good harvest. King Yongjo had a particular fondness for this pavilion, as evidenced by its frequent mention in the annals of King Yongjo, which are the primary historical records of his reign during the Joseon Dynasty. In March 1743, 
Following Crown Prince Sado's coming of age ceremony, King Yongjo and the Crown Prince met here. It is also recorded that King Yongjo issued royal letters to his officials and the people when Crown Prince Sado performed the Cho Alle, which was a ceremony that followed his proclamation as the Crown Prince. Hwan Gyeong Chun Hall was originally a royal residence. But later served as an executive office where King Yongjo worked to manage state affairs. In 1749, King Yongjo appointed his 15 year old son, Crown Prince Sado, to be regent and in charge of receiving reports on state affairs. Crown Prince Sado was overwhelmed by this responsibility and begged to be relieved of his duties, but King Yongjo continued this strict. Training regimen. Hwan Gyeong Chun Hall was also frequently used as a Pin Jeon Hall, where the coffins of kings and queens were housed, including those of Queen Jong Sun, King Yongjo's second wife, and King Jong Jo. Gyeong Chun Chun Hall was primarily used by the female members of the royal family. King Jong Jo, the 22nd king of Joseon, was born here. As a son of Lady Hagyun and Crown Prince Sado, Crown Prince Sado dreamt of a dragon entering this hall before King Jongjo's birth, and painted a picture of this dragon, which was then hung on the wall of the hall. Unfortunately, the painting is no longer there. When Crown Prince Sado passed away, King Jongjo personally named the hall Ka Yo Dang Hall. And placed a signboard there out of pity for his daughter-in-law, Lady Hagyung, who returned here after a short stay outside the palace. In her later years, Lady Hagyung also wrote a book about her life in the royal court here. Tong Myeongjeon Hall is the largest hall in the inner court of Changgyeonggung Palace, and served as the living quarters for queens and dowager queens. This hall was the site of a variety of rituals performed for them. Also, beyond the hall, there was a spring that King Yongjo named Yeolcheon. In 1743, King Yongjo, who had granted permission to hold his own 50th birthday celebration, in turn commanded that Tong Myeongjung Hall be the location for a banquet for his adoptive mother, Grand Dowager Queen In Won. The building later became a Pinjeon Hall when Grand Dowager Queen Inwon passed away. The hall is also famous for being the place where the future Queen Jongsun, King Yongjo's second wife, was selected as queen following the bride selection process or Samkantek held there in June 1759. Chipbok Hun House, which served as a residence for royal consorts, was a building in the inner court of Changgyeonggung Palace. Its name means a house for collecting blessings. Crown Prince Sado was born here in January 1735 as the son of King Yongjo and royal noble consort Yongbin. Sado was a much-awaited son as he was born seven years after the death. Of King Yongjo's first son, Crown Prince Hyojang, King Yongjo was 42 years old at that time. After spending his first 100 days in Chipbokhon House, Crown Prince Sado was moved to Cha Sungjeon Hall, which were the quarters of the Crown Prince. Later, he moved to Gyeongjunjeon Hall at the request of his sister, Princess Hwa Pyeonggongju. Because his quarters were far from those of King Yongjo, it was said that King Yongjo was residing in Chipbokhon House at that time. After passing Dongmyeongjeon Hall, visitors can climb the stairs to reach the site of Cha Gyeongjeon Hall, where King Yongjo's mother, Lady Hagyung, once resided. When King Yongjo became king. He enshrined his father, Crown Prince Sado's ancestral tablet, in Gyeongmogung Shrine, which is now located on the grounds of Seoul National University Hospital. To honor his mother, King Jongjo constructed Cha Gyeongjeon Hall on high ground, 
with a spectacular view of the hill where Kyongmo Gung Shrine stands. This building was constructed on a larger scale than Tongmyeongjeon Hall, which demonstrated King Jongjo's deep filial piety. Unfortunately, only the site of Chagyeongjeon Hall remains today, as it was torn down and a museum constructed there in 1911 during the Japanese occupation. Changgyeonggung Palace was downgraded to Changgyeongwon Park, which housed a museum, zoo, and botanical garden, rather than the royal family. Following the liberation of Korea from Japanese colonial rule in 1945, Changgyeongwon Park became an amusement park. In 1983, the amusement park was closed, and Changgyeonggung regained its former status as a palace. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the name change back to Changgyeonggung Palace. The name Changgyeonggung Palace was downgraded to Changgyeongwon Park during the Japanese occupation, but we now celebrate the 40th anniversary of the regaining of its original name, Changgyeonggung Palace. All seasons are beautiful, but spring, the time of new life, is especially beautiful around Chungdanji Pond. Did you know that this site was originally a rice paddy called Neinongpo? There was actually a rice paddy right inside the palace, right on this spot. The king used to demonstrate farming here and encourage the people to farm and pray for a good harvest. When even his rice paddies dried up, the king could better imagine how the people were suffering from drought. While the original Chungdanji Pond was a small pond located north of the current pond, in 1909, the Japanese transformed Ne Nongpo into a large pond. What had once been a symbolic place in a royal palace was turned into one of the main attractions of an amusement park designed for the public's entertainment and recreation. Like Ne Nongpo, many other structures in Changgyeonggung Palace were torn down during the Japanese occupation. In fact, what had been one eastern palace comprising both Changgyeonggung Palace and Changdokgung Palace was artificially divided into two distinct palaces during the same period. Further, Chongmyo Shrine which housed the ancestral tablets of Joseon kings and queens and was once connected to Changgyeonggung Palace, was also cut off from the palace when today's Yulgukno Street was built during the Japanese colonial period. Construction on this botanical garden began in 1908 and was completed in 1909. It was designed by a Japanese architect and constructed by a French company. It is a wooden and glass building with a total area of 575 square meters, making it the largest greenhouse in East Asia at the time. However, look carefully at the roof ridge. There you'll see the motif of the oyat, or plum flower, symbolizing the Korean Empire. One thing to consider is that since we have traveled back in time to 1743, this greenhouse would not have been seen by the inhabitants of the palace at that time. Although the palace has suffered from humiliation and disgrace throughout its history, efforts have been made since 1983 to restore it to its former glory. However, many of the palace's structures demolished by the Japanese colonial authorities still have not been rebuilt. Let's hope that in the not-too-distant future, Changgyeonggung Palace will be restored to its former glory. But, in the meantime, let us return to 1743 and enjoy a spring day at Changgyeonggung Palace. <laughs>